All right, I have this watch here. It's a Spider-Man 2002 movie watch, and it has, it's really cool. It's got Spider-Man's face as a cover, and then you flick that open, and there's the LCD display. Um, a spider design right there, and webs. And right there, it says Spider-Man, but it faded away a lot over time. And then on the back, it says, you know, uh, just your standard stuff, your copyright, your patent, and then the clicks. That's the brand that manufactured this watch. Now, if it worked, uh, it, which unfortunately doesn't, there's a silver web display right there. If it worked, I could show you what it does. I imagine all it would be able to do is tell time. That's it. Probably be used as a stopwatch, maybe. And it unfortunately has... Um, batteries that are only manufactured for this watch only intended to be used for this watch so you cannot buy replacement batteries i've tried and it didn't work so that's really all there is to it um it's designed you know to fit you know little kid wrists it, it i think probably on the box this thing probably said ages like six and up or something and obviously you know being a teenager i don't really know how well that would fit and because I've got big wrists well actually it fits but it's a tight fit it's like a shirt that doesn't quite fit right anymore it's a little small that's how this watch is it's really a novelty at this point but it's a really cool novelty something to carry around in your pocket or keep on your wrists and be like hey that's something different that's guy that guy has a spider-man movie watch yeah that's the video I know it's a really short one there's not much to talk about I can't review it because it doesn't work, but oh, I'll, I'll tell you the background of this. I found this at an antique store, brand new, still in package, um, and it kind of didn't fare well over the years, and this Spider-Man graphic, that was a lot uh, easier to see. It kind of faded away from, you know, handling the watch, touching it, I guess, and it's just silver paint. That stuff is going to wear away. That's the ink or whatever that is that's in LCD screens, yeah, that, that uh, breaks and, like, you know, reaches the top of the screen over time, and when that happens, that means the LCD thing you got, it, it's broken. You can't use it anymore. So, unfortunately, that's the case with this watch, but it's still a cool novelty, like I said, and it's just a really neat watch. I've, I've searched these things up on the internet and haven't found, I don't think I found any information on them or found any images of them. It was kind of hard to find uh, I think I searched up Spider-Man watches, and I got, like, other Spider-Man watches, not specifically this one. So, yeah. Well, that's this video. Uh, I just found this watch recently, and I thought, you know what? That'd be a good video idea, so here you go. It's a neat watch, like I said. I wish it worked, because if it worked, I could, I could, I could in theory, wear it. In theory. But it's, it would squeeze my wrist and probably cut off circulation if I had it too tight so probably not the best idea thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and comment down below if you had this exact watch or you had other spider-man movie watches like it thanks for watching and goodbye